What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Today, I am going to, well, talk a little bit about this. This just came in today. Um, it's the Mayflash F101. Um, I did make a video a, a couple days ago. The reason I bought this was for the Super Retrocade. Now, if you didn't catch the video that I made a couple days ago, I basically explained, hey, this is a, this is the arcade stick that works for the Super Retrocade, blah, blah, blah. Well, it turns out it's not. Um, because a few days ago, I did watch the guy that on accident said F101. Um, he just misspoke. I mean, he's a genuinely good good dude. I watched him hook the stuff up and everything. Well, the more I started watching that video, I was like, wait a minute, that's not the F-101. That don't look anything... I mean, it, it looks really close to it, but I noticed that the home and the start and turbo buttons and everything, they weren't in the center like the arcade stick that he was hooking up. It was more off to the like left top. So... It wasn't the F-101. Unfortunately, at that time, I already ordered this arcade stick, and I was like, well, you know what? It should work. I mean, why wouldn't it? Well, unfortunately, the one that you want for the Super Retrocade is just the original Mayflash arcade stick, and it was made for the PS2 and some other console, but... It has a dual connection at the end of the one that you want. It has a, a connection for the PS2 because them controllers had a different connection. And it has a USB, so it kind of splits off. And that's the one that you can actually hook up to the Super Retrocade and it will work. I hope that makes sense. I mean, I I don't know the technical terms for all this stuff, but anyway... This one does have, uh, this is USB. So I was like, well, you know what? Super Retrocade's USB. I don't know. Maybe I can get this to work if I tear it down and do some rewiring and stuff. But again, that's, that's Japanese to me, man, because I don't know anything about that stuff. But I am going to look at some videos and see if I can figure that out. Um, let me show you what this controller is doing. It does work, but you can't play any games. Let me show you. All right, so I'm not on the mic right now. Um, so if the audio quality is bad, that's why. But this is the the arcade stick. It looks really similar to the um, F300 that I own, that I have hooked into my arcade. Um, this looks really similar. Now, these are the buttons I was talking about. These are up near the top left where the one that you need, them buttons are pretty much right in the center there. Now, I'll show you the menu here. Now, I can move all this stuff. Like the, that works out fine. I can even get into a game here. Uh, see that start? All right, so there is a start button right here. Let me show you what it does when you hit start. It just turns gray, doesn't do anything. Now, if you just hit the A button, yeah, it backs you right back out into the main menu. So let's go back into this. Now, if you hit the X button, it'll start you up or acting like it's going to start up. Now, you can't insert coins. You can't do anything. After this, you're just stuck. You can come down here, hit the start button. Nothing. Come down here, hit the X button. Nothing. Now, if you hit the A button, brings you right back out here. 
absolutely nothing you can do. So I have tried everything. Um, if you hit the select button, this will come up where you can map your controller. And to do this is, it's pretty easy. I mean, you just, you wanna come down here to player one, you highlight it, All right, so then you just go pretty much to the buttons now. And, you know, this is all common sense stuff right here. This is all really easy. applied now and I'm not a fan of this game or anything so but it's the first game on here yeah no matter what I do this is what happens hit that start button yeah nothing so that's it so, you know, it's not a total loss because um, I guess I can I can still use this on like my PS3 if I want to do that. But um, I don't know. I, th I think it might work on the Switch as well. So I, I'm not real sure. You know, I, I have no use for it on the PS3 or the Switch, really. I wanted it for this super retrocade. So I'm going to do a little bit of digging online and see if I can do some uh, rewiring and stuff. And if I can find something, I'm going to do it and I will record to show how to do that if I can find something. If not, you know, shit happens, I guess, you know. But I'm not too scared to really mess with this because this was literally like 45 bucks. So... You know, it's not going to break me or anything. So, um, if you're looking for an arcade stick for the Super Retrocade, do not get the Mayflash F101. You just need the Mayflash arcade stick. And I believe in the title it says, like, PS2, something else. But it does have dual uh, connections at the end. Like, you'll see the... PS2 plug in and then it'll also branch off and it'll have a USB and that's what you use for the Super Retrocade so yeah so this this kind of sucks it's kind of a loss but you know uh, it'll give me practice to learn how to do some new rewiring and shit like that if I can find a video on it so uh, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, game on.